Okay, I'm going to do a quick video on a word problem with uh, fractions using unlike denominators um, with adding and subtraction. Okay, I do want to shift from mostly computation videos to throwing in some word problems as we know that is going to be that that is a crucial skill for us to um, for us <laughs> to, to learn. Um, so uh, like always, if you haven't subscribed, give this uh, a follow. Okay, so let's take a look right here. This problem, here we go, Oops, sorry. This problem here says, Mackenzie's footprint is seven twelfths of a foot long. Her dad's footprint is one and one sixth feet long. Which equation can be used to find out how much longer Mackenzie's dad's footprint is than Mackenzie's? So you read this problem. I'm taking a peek at my four answer choices here, and I notice none of these actually have an answer. It looks like they're just looking for um, an equation, an equation I meant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here, okay? I'm going to, to start and say, we know her Mackenzie's footprint is seven, foots of a, seven twelfths of a foot long. So I'm going to write seven twelfths of a foot and put Mackenzie, okay? Then I know her dad's footprint is one and one sixth foot long. So one and one sixth foot long. And that's her dad. Okay. So I'm just annotating. Okay. I'm taking the information from the problem and I'm writing it down underneath the problem. Okay. And this is crucial in order to, to solving these problems or to at least being able to identify what we're, what the problem's asking us to do. So now I'm going to highlight or I'm going to underline which equation can be used to find out how much longer Mackenzie's dad's footprint is than Mackenzie's. So we see it's which equation, which explains why there is, it's not asking us to solve the problem. It just wants to know which equation. So, and I, I see I'm also going to highlight or it's a box here to find out how much longer. Because when we see that how much longer, that's a clue word that's going to let me know that I'm comparing two amounts. And the comparing the two amounts here is gonna be the length of Mackenzie's foot, footprint and the length of her dad's footprint. And I'm going to have to subtract them. Because when you wanna find out how much longer something is than something else, you're comparing two amounts and you're going to subtract. So it starts here by saying, how much longer is dad's footprint? Well, let me get that set up. The dad's footprint is one and one sixth. And I'm going to subtract the seven twelfths. So now I'm looking at my four answer choices. One, two, C, three, and four. Okay, we have A, B, C, and D. Well, <clears throat> None of these seem to match what I'm what I have written here. I mean, I'm gonna start by saying it's not B, because I'm definitely not adding these two amounts. So it's either A, C, or D. Well, and I know here I'm going to eliminate well it says seven twelfths minus six twelfths. That equation doesn't even match up with any of the data that I have in the problem. Okay, so now I'm left with one and one sixth minus two thirds, or one and two twelfths minus seven twelfths. Well, I am going to start with one and one sixth because that is Mackenzie's dad's foot right here, and then I'm subtracting. Well, here it says six twelfths. Not sorry, two thirds. Is two-thirds equivalent to seven-twelfths? Well, I show here. Let's look. Two-thirds. 
Does two thirds equal? Does two thirds equal? I'm sorry, I'm comparing. Oh, seven twelfths. Well, to get from three to twelve, you would do three times four equals twelve. And up here, I'm doing two times four would give me eight. So no. So two thirds does not equal seven twelfths. So I can eliminate. I can eliminate choice C. So, so just by process of elimination, my answer should be A. So let's take a let's take a look. If we're looking at if we're looking at A, could that be one and two twelfths minus seven twelfths? Well, one and two twelfths. This is one and one sixth. So I would say to myself, is two twelfths equal to one sixth? Uh, I'm going to show it the other way around. Is one sixth equal to two twelfths? Well, let me check. Six times two gives me twelve, and one times two gives me two. So it does. So I can. I can see that one and one sixth is equivalent to one and two twelfths, and I would subtract seven twelfths. So my answer is going to be A. If I just wanted to to solve this now, I can do this. Now, you do not need to solve it. You don't need to. But just we might as well. I would do, well, 1 and 2 twelfths minus 7 twelfths. Remember, we have common denominators. I don't want to have to regroup because I can't do 2 twelfths minus 7 twelfths. So let me convert and do the swoop around. 12 times 1 is 12 plus 2 is 14 over 12 minus 7 twelfths. 14 minus 7 is 7, and keep our denominator the same. So your answer would be 7 twelfths. But we did not have to do that. We just had to find the equation. So with that being said, that was this video on using fractions with unlike denominators, and this was a word problem.